welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sniffer pen because whenever you get your first sniffer egg and you're all excited that you're gonna have a sniffer army once you get a second one you might start realizing the infrastructure needed to raise these how are you going to get the seeds are you going to have to hang out all day is your place going to be efficient enough to get enough seeds well that's why I'm here so Without further ado, onto the tutorial. This is both a functional and decorative farm, but it's mainly there for decoration. And we're going to be using a lot of usually easily accessible blocks, such as polished andesite, red terracotta, bamboo fences, oak planks, stripped spruce logs, stone bricks in its variants, including stairs and slabs, and then moss blocks. Then find yourself a nice open area just about any biome works, even a desert, considering, you know, that's where you even found the place, in an underwater ruin, that is covered in sand. Therefore, you just palette swap to use smooth sandstone instead of andesite, and you can place this in a desert. Now, we can see we have a nice flat area for a sniffer pen, and what you want to do here is segment it off into five two-block things like this and then we want to make a square out of this on the insides we want to tower up bamboo fences three or four blocks high although if you feel like this is a little too cramped you can easily increase the size to three five block or i mean five three block segments it's up to you in this case but it's worth trying both versions you can see a basic design is going on here with bamboo fences and polished andesite stairs and of course make this into another square like I said earlier but now you have a nice little visual reference of what to do although on one side you do want to skip out on all the fences because we do need an entrance to this place after all it's more than just a farm because you know it's also aesthetically pleasing, so might as well have an entrance. With our sniffer here, we can see that this enclosure can, well, handle a sniffer. These two fence gates, one open, will let one through. And although weeds might be a little hard to, you know, force it through, still, it does work. Granted, our area is more than 8x8, eight eight, which means we will have maximum efficiency for the sniffer getting crops. Therefore, on top of your fences, place some polished andesite, and then on either side of it, go around and place some upside down polished andesite stairs. You can add dark oak trapdoors if you want on these ends, but that's optional. Just make sure that both sides of this have some polished andesite stairs, including on the bottom for the exterior. Stairs now included. Now what we want to do is add our red terracotta and they roughly match the sniffer's own body. You can see how you know, unfinished texture can be seen from some parts. Still, you want to have this nice red, not red concrete because that's too bright and will utterly just destroy how contrasting the sniffer is. And you just go around like this or one block recessed so it would be here. Either one works, but you should try both of them just to make sure you know which one you like. So this is an example of what it will look like. And then on the top, you will do the same thing with the red terracotta, and then the same thing on the outside. But of course, try both recessed and normal. Okay, like this version more. The terracotta is now in place, and we can see it's looking, well, pretty nice. It's a very basic build, but we have to keep it relatively simplistic in order to make sure that the farm itself is functional. But that doesn't mean we can't do more with this. But before I do that, I want you to look at your fence gates, and you probably placed them side by side like this. And, well, you can see it looks pretty good except this very small middle part. You can see it doesn't quite line up how normal bamboo would. Therefore, Go and destroy one of them and place it from the other side so that way the bamboo looks more natural. 
rather than two of the same stalks right next to each other. But besides that, go inside, and you might want to replace these washers with andesite, and replace the ground with moss, especially if you are in a desert. During the we can see that this build is lit up because I placed down some torches. I recommend you do the same in order to make sure this place is safe. But it's now time for some of the decorations for said sniffers. Go to one side of the place, dig out a trench of moss rock, and we can see that there's dirt below, and we want to fill this up with andesite stairs. Make sure the sides are corners, and then fill it up some more like this. Do not place it in the middle. I tried doing that, and it heavily messed with the collecting feature of sniffers. Therefore, that should only be done hmm. if drops are not But, pressing it over here, we still have the nice enclosure. From here, place down some plants such as torch flowers and pitcher plants, along with whatever else you want, while making sure the place is still flat and does not have many obstructions. The more decorated it is, the harder it is for sniffers to collect. So try to maintain everything being just pass through bolt blocks like grass. From here, you can see pink petals, sniffer plants, and a couple of architectural changes have been made to the interior. We can only do so much with this area considering the fact that sniffers need an uninterrupted 6x6 six six area centered on themselves in order to collect seeds. Therefore, if it's a little bland on the inside, no, that's a necessary trade-off and you shouldn't be too worried about it. But a little closer look on what changes I made. You can see these corners were thickened up from this to this. Stairs were modified and accents were merged to fix that. And then this area, I did not change the bottom stairs as do not crush the watering hole. From here, Go under this area by excavating two parallel staircases on the side of these paths. I covered up a small carver here. And you want to make a five tall or even taller room under this area. And it should be square shaped. This room will house our minecart that will go around and collect the seeds for us. Make the flooring in there oak plank. Staircases going downward, we can see that we have a large room down here. If you do not want to be doing a ton of excavating, you do not need to make a complete area, but I'd recommend doing it. Up here, if you're on bedrock mode, I am sorry if you're playing bedrock, but if you're on Java, use a trapdoor in order to put yourself in a sneaking state. A good way to do this is to bridge out, grab a trapdoor, or use an elytra, and now you're in this area. Place down a nice area of stone bricks, like this, and then we want to make a coiling minecart track going around. Do not worry about powered rails at all. At some point in your ceiling, you want to make two hoppers go down. That way we have a proper collection system. But I am no redstone person, I'm just a builder guy who knows a little bit of redstone and how to make a pumpkin farm, so, you know, if you're smarter at this than me, then go ahead and make your own design for this. But, you want to put some levers on the ceiling, and then activate them all. Although this will look a little ugly, we can fix some of the problem by potentially just lowering the floor or making a wall here that is exceptionally thick. But do whatever it takes to hide these levers if you just don't like seeing them. But if you're okay with seeing them, then that's completely fine. But I have actually placed these the wrong way. You want to have them go the other direction in the middle. With a functional mindset back here, you can see the lever distribute the items. We can see that this place is functional. These pressures are also to hide the left. Now what we want to do is make sure the bottom layer of the wall is part and the site. Whenever you have an entrance, more polished and the site. And make sure that your stairs are still, you know, functional. 
functional when he decorated it. As you can see there, it wasn't functional anymore. Therefore, make sure that you're always experimenting with your stairs and slabs in order to make sure that's all working. And whenever you replace blocks, make sure that the rails are still on top of it. When you do that, you can see we're making the build better while maintaining the functionality. Although the mine are have all the walls nicely decorated, just some basic stone bricks, sniffers up here, sniffing away, producing us some seeds, and with just two sniffers, I've been able to reliably collect their products, which means this farm is a success. Down here, just small storage, two rooms in case, you know, motivational issues on building an actual starter house, but fortunately I've been able to on but to solve the final issue with this build, some lighting down here. What we can do is build a small table like this out of spruce. And then we can place down some chairs. And, well, it's not a perfect table, but still, we can have chairs on either side. And hey, trap doors like this, banners behind. And then, we have a nice old table. Place some candles, perhaps, I can frame with some food on it, and now you have a house down here. But, of course, these doors have nothing to do. But, in case you need an area to live, this is one of the things you can do. Down here, we can see that I have a finished table, seven candles, four seats, different banners, and we have the food. Along with our two little doors here, so that way we can have a housing department. This place is now complete. Although, I have added one extra detail. I've added a farm up here. We can see that it's incredibly simple, despite the coloring. It's actually just three blocks from any surface, and a site. And then on the corners, we put thick little things to put our lanterns on. Alternate between pitcher plants and toy towers with H's in the middle. And we can see we have a farm. The alternating pattern makes it grow quicker. And it also breaks up, you know, the coloring. Therefore, once this thing is done, and you know, if you have a lot more sniffers in here, because you are not finishing this farm area with only two sniffers, you're going to have, you know, a lot of seeds, a lot of dye, or a lot of plants. And, well, that's what this farm seeks to do. Looks pretty, and it's a place to store sniffers and their respective seeds. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, I'm using OBS instead of Xbox Game Bar to record this video, so the audio might be a little wonky, you know being quiet in some areas, while other times it might be too loud, but hopefully an overall increase in quality is present. So comment down below if you have any concerns about it. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.